The fall high school sports season is a time for football, soccer, tennis, volleyball, and cross country. But at St. Francis Prep in Queens, it's the school's gymnastics team that is quickly becoming a dynasty. We are the As the only diocesan program, the Terriers gymnastics team begins the season looking to defend its three consecutive championship titles. The team is comprised of 16 student athletes competing on the varsity and junior varsity levels. It's very easy to come back and say, hey, we're going to do it again. We've done it for the last three years. We've got it in our back pocket, but that's so not true. We know that we have to work harder than ever. So the team is different every year, so we, we're trying to keep our focus on the present. Rather than winning, rather than scores, just think about what routines need to be done and how to do them well. We just need to work hard, try to stay as consistent as possible, keep practicing. The like, most important part is probably team spirit. I would say cheer each other on. That really helps. The team is busy gearing up for its seven regular season competitions. Each meet features four events, vault, uneven bars, balance beam, and floor exercise, with each competitor taking part in each event. It's going to take a lot of hard practices. We have to work hard, get our team together, make sure everyone's on top of their things, but I think we could do it. We're going to try to like hit all our routines and like try our hardest and hopefully we do our best. I know what you're all thinking out there. Jim's going to do some flip off this vault and stick a perfect landing. But rather than running the risk of breaking my neck, I'll leave the flips to the pros this time around. Now that's a perfect 10. Success has become the norm for the Terriers, especially in getting their season off to a fast start and using that momentum to carry them through to the championship meet. We've started off so strong and we've started with our toughest opponent. So going from there, it's been kind of like an easy ride afterward. We start in August, we start competing in about three weeks, so it's really, really quick. It's just, it's a little stressful. It's, it's a lot going on, so we just know we have to work really hard and be ready. It's great. We're doing it as a team. We're getting closer, making new friends, stronger bonds, and it's just great to do this thing together and we hope to do it again this year. Training for gymnastics is a year-round process, so with the regular season set to begin, the team's off-season training regimen is sure to pay off. If you don't do routines during the fall, you're so out of shape, like you can feel it. And when I do it now, like, and I start like in November, I feel so much better because i already done it in high school gymnastics. You need to keep up with your body all, all year because you can lose your, lose your skills, you can lose your training, and you have to try and keep up with it because if not, it's going to take even more time to get your skills back, and we need to be on top of it the whole time. It might be a bit early for the Terriers to be thinking about a fourth straight championship, but if the team continues to improve at every practice and at every meet, St. Francis Prep will again be in the title hunt come late October. Reporting for Currents, I'm Jim Mancari.